all 2021 drivers are now out and they're able to be fit. Today we are going to be comparing the low spin driver to see which one goes the furthest. Cobra, Callaway, TaylorMade, and Ping have all released their new drivers for 2021. Today is going to be exciting. I get the chance to test all the new low spinning versions. This is right up my alley. Today I'm going to be testing all the models in a 9 degree head to see which one goes the furthest, which one's most forgiving, and which one I like the best. This will be a great comparison of the Ping G425 LST the Callaway Epic Max LS, the Cobra Rad Speed, and the TaylorMade Sim 2. I've got the Cobra Rad Speed. Time to hit some bombs. That one's going to be pretty hard to beat. That was better. That was hit well. So round one of two, for good reason, if we take a look at the club speed numbers, you'll notice that the Cobra Rad speed was just a little bit lower than the others. That was the first club that I hit. So it will be actually the last club that I hit here because to make it fair and unbiased as we can, I want to make sure that I'm completely warmed up for the Cobra Rad speed there too. So if you take a look at the numbers, you can kind of see initially right off the bat, the Sim 2 has got the fastest ball speed right off the bat at 169.1. So that's kind of interesting. These are all low spin driver options. So if we take a look at the spin rates, we'll notice that the spin rate's not gonna be crazy high, even though I'm spinning pretty fast at it. So we look at the spin rate, we'll notice we're ranging from about 1981 all the way up to 222.85. So it's kind of interesting, you know, initially that the Sim 2 is spinning just a little bit more than a couple of the others. We notice the Epic Max LS is spinning the lowest so far. So it's only three shots in. We're going to hit three more with each driver, and then we're going to dive a little deeper into the numbers. Got over 170. Okay, so we are six drives in with each driver model. First thing I do want to touch on is that club speed. It's really kind of interesting with the Epic Max LS driver that my club speed was quite a bit faster. It's either two things. Either that club head that we've got is a little bit lighter than the others. If that's the case, I want that because it would be in my bag right away. Or the other option is that TrackMan is not quite picking up the club speed the same as all the drivers. So if that is the case, keep in mind the most important thing in a fitting is to focus on ball speed. Ball speed is important to kind of focus on. So let's take a look at the ball speed numbers with these drivers. So if we take a look, you can see that the lowest ball speed was actually the Cobra Red at 166.5. The highest was the SIM 2 at 168.3. It's kind of interesting if you look at the G425 LST, the Epic Max LS, and the SIM 2, you'll notice they're separated by 0.2 miles an hour between the three of them. So very, very similar there between the ball speed numbers. Um, if we take a look at launch angle, because I do head up on the ball quite a lot as, uh, as a little guy trying to hit the ball pretty far, 
you kind of notice that my attack angle is usually 6 or 7 degrees up with a 9 degree driver. The spin rate, the spin rate is going to stay down and the launch angle is going to be high. So high launch, low spin is what you're going for. So if we take a look at those launch angles, we're talking 14.6 to about 16.3. Very good because the fact that I could keep that spin rate down. So spin is going to be the focus with the lower spin driver models. There's a reason why it's called an LST or it's called an LS model is because it's focused on low spin. So low spin is what we got out of all these drivers. If we take a look, the lowest spinning driver of them all was the Epic Max LS. My spin rate was 1902 on average. At the other end of the spectrum, the Ping G425 LST was 2224. So, I mean, we're talking separated by 300 RPMs, but it definitely can make a difference. A little less spin is going to have that ball chase out a little further. A little bit more spin may be a little bit easier to control and may fly a little bit straighter. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. If we look at carry distance, well, carry distance is basically identical. How good is that? 299.6 to 300.9, so we're talking within one yard of each other on all those golf shots with regards to carry distance. Because the Epic Max LS was spinning just a little bit less, you'll notice it chased out a little bit more. It actually went the furthest at 326.7. So want to touch on the height a little bit as well. So if we scroll a little bit over there to the, to the right side, you notice when the ball is spinning a little bit less, the height's going to be kind of a little bit lower. So with a driver, if you have a lot of speed, you still want to get that ball up in the air. So you still want that ball to fly high enough so you can maximize your carry distance. So again, because my attack angle is between six and seven degrees up, kind of interesting how the height is still very, very high, even with a nine degree driver. And there's a reason why in 2021, I'm going to play around with an eight degree driver because I am going to try and bring that down a little bit, a little more up the window and try and get the ball to go a little bit further as well. And finally, also very important, the most important thing in iron fittings is dispersion. There's no reason that dispersion is not important with the driver as well, because if you hit more fairways, you're gonna hit more greens, you can have more chances for birdies. So let's take a look at this dispersion pattern. One thing that stands out to be the most was the Sim 2 driver. If we take a look at that blue circle from left to right, you can see how that total distance was very, very consistent every single time. So on those six shots, the consistency was very impressive with the TaylorMade Sim 2. If we take a look at another trend, the Ping G425 LST, you notice it's a little bit further to the left side, so I was able to turn that thing over just a little bit easier. The Sim 2 was just a little bit over to the right side. And then we had the Rad Speed and the Epic Max LS kind of right in the middle. But those circles were just a little bit larger. You can see with the, the Rad Speed, the white circle was just a little bit larger on average. But a lot of that comes down to skill level. So if you're having that club face open at impact, of course it's going to go to the right. If you have that club face closed, it's going to go to the left. And if you generate a lot of speed and get that thing offline, it can definitely go pretty far offline. So it's important to work with a club fitter to figure out the right loft combination on your driver, the right spin type of driver. So whether you should fit into the lower spinning driver like these four that we just tested, or whether you should maybe play a little more forgiving model and not chase low spin quite as much. So ask your fitter, what do I need? Do I need less spin? Do I need more forgiveness? And that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. And then from there, it's important to get fit for the right golf shaft. As we were testing these heads today, I was hitting with the exact same golf shaft. The nice thing at Second Swing is we do have our all fit adapter system where we can play the exact same golf shaft in all the different heads and figure out which head's best and then try all those different golf shafts out. Today's test was with the Tor AD XC6X golf shaft at 45 inches in length. So come on into Second Swing, bring your trades in and come get fit like a pro.